Greetings and welcome. My beautiful beings of light. The spiraling energy waves keep on intensifying in the divine now. These moments have been within the master blueprint for eons and eons. They are right on schedule, and you my beloved divine light beings are right on target, exactly where you should be in divine and perfect order, right where you are. You each and every one are so loved and your divine realms advisors and light families want you to know that you are on the right path. The Creator sends you daily waves of unconditional love to help sustain you. If you were running a celestial marathon my beloveds, you would be at the five mile marker turning the corner coming into the home stretch. Yes, you may be sputtering and lagging and breathing hard and thinking you will never make it to the finish line, but my divine beings of grace, there is no first place and last place in this race. You are all where you are supposed to be right now. There are no winners or losers, for this race is not about competition this is about divine evolution. It takes each one of you participating to bring about the divine results of love, peace and balance to this place. This dot on your spiritual DPS, divine positioning system, shows you, that you are getting closer to home by the moment. You are awakening in record numbers, shaking your head in a questioning manner and asking yourselves who am I really? Each of you look around and search for your divine spiritual families and spiritual divine friends dressed in physical human bodies and seek that divine connection that was so clear before you incarnated this time around. It can be unsettling and make you feel disconnected as you knew before coming to this place their true energetic appearance and vibrations so well. It is a confusing time for many indeed and very exhausting to say the least. You are going to make it, my beloveds but check in with yourself and see if you are swimming against the currents of change. Resistance creates more pain for yourself. Things are evolving and moving upward and if you are holding too tightly to what was yesterday, you will miss the turn that takes you to brighter todays and the fork in the road that takes you to sunny tomorrows. Flexing, creating new avenues or ways and living in the moment is an allowance that really would be helpful for you to grant yourself permission to live within this moment of now. My divine beings of grace, you each came with all your spiritual tools on board, but checking in with your inner self daily is recommended. Meditation and inner work is a suggested requisite for inner balance, peace and emotional health amongst outer chaos and uncertainty. My beloveds being able to rise above the violence and negative media portrayals happening right there in front of your physical eyes is a skill set that you told yourself pre-incarnation, that you would be able to learn. Checking in with your inner self daily and clearing the debris from your energy fields daily are two of your daily spiritual emotional health practices, just like cleaning your physical bodies daily and brushing your teeth daily are daily physical health routines. My beloveds being awake and remembering that you have daily spiritual needs to work on in conjunction with your physical human necessities are each part of the incarnation journey. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation adventure. Sit in a chair or lie down so that you are comfortable. Uncross your arms and legs, as this blocks the flow of energy. If you chill easily cover up with a light blanket. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few comfortable deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in-breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out-breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustration, and doubts. With your final exhale let it all go with a sigh as you are breathing out all frustrations of the day. Feel your total body relaxing and give yourself permission to feel the calm and peace. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. If it helps you to visualize your ego self by identifying it as a symbol or as an object please do so. My beautiful beings of light, in your imagination ask through prayer for the Creator to send you a protective ray of white light, by mentally praying something like this My Creator, I am asking please for a protective ray of white light to enfold me in love and lift me up, so that I am experiencing the very highest of vibrations during this journey into my innermost depths of understanding and being. 
My Creator I am protecting myself on this journey from anything that is not for my highest good. I am thanking you my Creator for this ray. I am visualizing the ray in my imagination now coming down through the corner of the area where I am meditating. I am sensing it entering into my physical form, permeating all that is within my I am presence. My beloveds, the Creator has responded to your prayer and has gifted you with a fluid white ray plus a soft pink ray and one magenta ray for this journey. The rays are entering into your body through the solace of your feet and moving up through your physical vessel, permeating throughout all of your etheric energy fields and physical vessel and into all corners of the actual area where you are. The gifted rays are exiting through your crown chakra. The rays are returning to the Creator and cycling back down through you again, and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. My divine beings of grace, you are breathing very slowly and evenly now, you are feeling so secure and safe, so at peace. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Your angels hand you a checklist along with a pencil and ask you to please take a moment to fill it out. You notice immediately that the list is broken down into physical human necessities and spiritual requirements. You observe that taking a bath and brushing your teeth are right there at the top of the physical list and you check completed next to each one. Then under the daily spiritual section you notice that daily checking in with your inner self and meditation are the top two events followed by communicating with your creator. The list continues with daily clearing of debris from your energy fields, followed on the list by communicating with your angels and spirit guides. These all are areas that you've not been in the habit of doing. You hand the completed list back to your angels and they take a moment to scan the check marks noticing what has not been completed today. They make no comments or judgments about the list. They instantly hand you a life vest, swimming goggles, fins, and a snorkel then guide down the hall and out through the fifth door to your left. There you find yourself outdoors and you spot a wooden bench sitting on a bank overlooking a river. You notice that the river's current is rather swift just glancing quickly at it. Your angels tell you to put on your life vest, goggles, fins, and snorkel. The angels explain that once you are situated in your gear to walk on down the steps to the little dock below and they will meet you there. You think to yourself, it looks really fun even though you many never have used this equipment before, as you follow the directions provided by the angels. You slip into all of the equipment and off you go waddling down the steps thinking how silly this must look. You are just imagining yourself being photographed by some hidden entity that would take your waddling picture and post it on YouTube. The angels, laughingly have read your thoughts and tell you not to have any concerns about photos and reiterate that the shaming picture taking stuff doesn't go on in this realm. You nod your head smiling thankfully and sigh as you are relieved to know that fact. On the dock you notice that there is a canoe waiting on you. There is an angel with a paddle sitting in one seat and you are to climb aboard and sit in the other seat opposite the angel. You notice how gently the canoe is rocking almost like a baby's cradle. 
The angels are reading your thoughts again and tell you that it is in fact just like rocking a baby's cradle. They continue that this is a very special canoe created to never invoke any motion sickness whatsoever, but simply remind you of the soothing warmth of being rocked when you were a baby. Smiling from ear to ear this is good news, you tell the angels, as you always liked being rocked as a child. That rocking thought brings back great loving memories for you of being rocked as a child by a number of those that you love. Your angel paddles the canoe out a bit and asks if you would like to take a swim. You've been waiting for that invitation since you got in the boat and quickly jump over the side and find the water just the right temperature. You begin swimming but the odd thing about this is, you are finding yourself swimming upstream trying to force yourself to battle the current of the river. You find yourself instantly becoming exhausted and really not having much fun as you are trying to move forward in the water but not making headway. The angels tell you that your creator never meant for you to be swimming against the current which is known and called resistance. Resistance causes fatigue, frustration, anger, pain, and emotional upheaval. That resistance revelation is part of the exercise on this journey. They ask you if you are ready to try swimming in the opposite direction, in flow with the current of life, so that you can feel the difference. After treading water you agree to try the other direction. Immediately you notice how much easier that feels to swim with the current flow. You begin smiling and enjoying the ride as you flip onto your back and just allow the current to carry you down the river. You gently bob and float and feel such a sink sense of peace in this position. You find that the angel can keep up with you in the canoe, paddling right next to you as you float on down the river. It feels just like being rocked and nurtured as a baby, simply floating along taking in the scenery enjoying your journey in your very own deep inner peaceful place. You really don't need the snorkel or the goggles and hand them to the angel that is paddling the canoe. The angel takes them and asks you if you would like to clear your energy fields now that you are in a calm quiet inner place. You answer immediately that yes you are ready to clear all the debris that has been accumulating in your energy fields. Instantly upon your acceptance of this clearing you find yourself in even more of an inner peaceful place. You notice the color intensity of the flowers on the bank that you had not seen before. You see the animals waving to you from the side of the bank that you had not even been aware of before you embarked on this journey. You see the trees glowing in appreciation that you have cleared the debris. You didn't realize how far reaching your energy field actually was until you had it cleared by the angels. Now there are so many beautiful and loving things that would like to interact with you, now that you are in spiritual alignment with your higher self. This is so much more fun you tell yourself. You look up and see a white crane flying above you and the crane squawks down thanks for clearing your energy fields. Your angels tell you that your energy fields do indeed touch everyone else's and it is very important to keep yourself cleared so that your true vibrational frequency draws the right circumstances and people towards you. You had never thought of it like this before and thanked the angel profusely for this information and understanding. After a while your angels tell you it is time to return. You pull yourself back up into the canoe and instantly find yourself back at the dock. Your angels then guide you back as you instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror. You notice the difference that the clearing has made in your appearance. You seem much more relaxed and centered. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure more than any earth plane language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael, the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace, and grace.